So I have no idea how this last part is going to go through France because yet again I have never been through France on a diagonal but uh, if the weather is anything to go by it could be anything literally anything this morning we had sun we had snow we had hail we had more sun and then we had some more rain and now I see blue skies again and uh, the mountain in the background there um, which you can't see right now is snow covered and it wasn't yesterday so who knows but anyway this is kind of the last leg of the journey and then four weeks of road tripping are over Simply because we wouldn't be doing another cross France road trip anytime soon, we opted to avoid the motorways completely and just tell Google Maps to, you know, lead the way. So while I was busy trying to find an accommodation for the night, Jonas killed whatever was left on the rear tires. We just didn't know it yet. So as I was trying to say, today is a bit of everything. Everything weather, everything kind of driving is like so weird. Because if you navigate by a map, uh, you'll likely drive from one major city to another. Even if you want to avoid motor motorways and tolls and stuff. But with Google Maps, you know, it calculates all the little detours you would have to take in order to be quicker which in turn leads to almost no main roads whatsoever. And uh, now we just came through this and we, we had to fuel up because we have to fuel up every day. And uh, by pure chance, the government decided to subsidize the fuel here, which means that it's now 18 cents cheaper than it was yesterday, which actually makes this about as cheap as we've got it so far on this trip. Literally, it's cheaper to be here now and drive here than it would be to be home and, you know, drive to something that some people would call work. Anyway, we have uh, three more hours to go. Three hours. It was supposed to be three hours. But it most certainly wasn't Five. just three hours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the 
das ist sehr anstrengend. Uh, so also, in fairness, I did know that the winter tires that are on the back are fairly run down, but uh, we have basically no traction, like none. If we hit snow, we just, we clean off. Um, uh, yeah. Just to be absolutely clear here, when we left, the tires were plenty fine for this trip and maybe two seasons of snow in Germany and this was by far the last possible chance this could have happened. Still, I learned my lesson, don't tell me. last 20 minutes we've been 20 minutes away from our destination because we're driving literally snail's pace I show you the rear tires there is some sort of a profile visible but honestly it's basically non-existent and we just passed uh, we just stopped at the side of the road uh, to let all the other people drive past who have, you know, winter tires with thread on them. And uh, it's really, really stressful. But we found this. A baguette vending machine, which is <laughs> very French. So we decided we're gonna get a baguette now. After a very stressful drive through the night, we finally arrived at a place that I didn't even want to book. But hell, it was just what we needed. So we intended to leave early, but uh, after the alarm rang at 7 a.m., I took a good look at the traffic and, um, well, <laughs> if you can already tell, you're going to be in traffic on the motorway, heading out of a, uh, of a major area where there's uh, this much snow, you might as well just wait it out. At least a little bit and um, yeah we are not going to take the B roads today and to be honest our plan is simply drive seven and a half eight ish hours until we're home At this point, there's no denying, there wasn't going to be a sweet way out of this. The only upside to this whole ordeal was that out of a 9 hour driving day, only 5 hours felt really boring. Because the first 4 were really stressful. Listen when I say, it really ain't too fair. For you to treat me this way 
Traction level is about at a 2 out of 10. like that the trip is over 8400 kilometers 28 days and now we're back in Germany And it still starts like the day we left. Incredible. That's been more than 8,000 kilometers. And now I'm celebrating it with a gin and tonic. Ciao. And that brings us to this point right here. It's the next day now. I am in the workshop. The car is, I'd say, 70% clean. Uh, it still needs a detail and a couple of touch-ups because uh, I drive them like they're supposed to be driven. And that shows. And now I don't really know what to say anymore. This is at least the end of the road trip, but there's um, there's more to come. And for all of you that still haven't figured that out, this is not the black car. This is a different one. <laughs> 